We found love in the hopeless place. It was called Wolverine. Meet the Browns. You already know. Gang. Guys, I'm here at my last doctor's appointment, supposedly. Today I'm 37 weeks. I just got my I just had my NST done, which is uh um oh shoot, I'm having pregnancy brain. I just got my NST done. This is which is a non-stress test. And I had to get a fluid ultrasound, which I do those every week until I give birth. And it seems like I will be giving birth tomorrow. Well, they're gonna induce me to give birth tomorrow. It's the first time it's ever happened. So, I'm just here. Fixing my hair. Fat cheeks. Right, so, I don't know guys. I don't know how I feel about, well I know how I feel about it. I don't want to give birth. I feel like it's early, but, because my blood pressure is high, I have to, basically I have to do what the doctor says. <laughs> But they feel like it's best for the baby. <clears throat> hey, you. Hey, sister. Nazir, uh, he, got, he looking fleek over here. Nazir like an old man, y'all. Look at him. I am old. I'm out, I'm out. I'm about to call the hospital. <sighs> Labor and delivery. Labor and delivery, Nicole speaking. Hi, I'm calling to set up a time to come in tomorrow to be induced. What is your name? Davina. Hold on one second. Okay, we have you scheduled to come in at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. 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 Yep. Um. Quick question. Sure. Um. Do my husband come with me the same time? Um. Yes. Uh. He can come with you then, okay. or he can come at a later time. But um. Once he's here, he'll need to stay throughout the whole time. If he leaves, he won't be able to come back in with you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So it's really up to you. So what I always suggest people um, bring everything that you're going to need. Like if you're bringing your phone, bring your phone cords, computers, laptops, or whatever you're going to bring. Right. Make sure you have your cords, extra water, snacks, and things of that nature. <laughs> you'll have to stay right in the room with you. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's afternoon time. It's 12.30. Oh, shoot. 
we're on our way to the hospital because mommy's about to have a baby well mommy and daddy baby I love you so much huh whisper <laughs> yo <laughs> did y'all hear that good <laughs> So should I say, I love you. Yeah. Yeah, you. We trying to get some food before we go. Because we going to be in there for a long time. And he definitely need food because he can't leave. Once he come in, he can't leave. So, And we supposed to be at 1 o'clock. It's 12.38. We're going to get there a couple minutes late probably. Just because we're in this drive through <laughs> we got the baby car seat back there. Okay, baby. Oh, my yeah. We here. It's the hospital. We found the spot, y'all. <gasps> oh, excuse me. So, we here finally. We're actually 13 minutes late. So, we at 1 o'clock. It's one thirteen. Sorry. Okay, I'm not in a rush for y'all to induce me. <clears throat> yeah, we bought some KFC. I, I finished mine. Because I don't know if I'm yeah, I'm supposed to have eat anything, but they didn't say I couldn't eat, so. Hey, go in the front and tell me when, when, when I can start. None of my shirts fit me, y'all. <laughs> Go. We're in this room right here until it's time to go. Guys. Mm. Nice. Hey. My hair is starting to get crazy. So, a little update. I got two IVs, one there. <clears throat> one here. Ow. And they tried the Foley balloon. I mean, the balloon catheter. Or is it a Foley balloon? Foley balloon. Balloon catheter, whatever. They tried it. But it was unsuccessful. But someone's about to come in right now. That was about 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes ago, probably. So somebody's about to come in here and try again. How you feeling? I feel good. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, you know you. <laughs> Guys, we did it. It's 6.13. I just got my the Foley balloon in. My girl did it. Yeah, I'm happy she came, but she did it. And it slid right in, she said. I think because I th I was actually contracting before they even started inducing me. So I think that my cervix is actually opening up, but we got it in. We're going to do the Pitocin or whatever later on, see how far I go. Everything looks good with the baby, everything's good. <clears throat> we just hoping for a smooth delivery, that's it. So I'll update you guys in a bit. Alright, hey guys, it is 715. And I got my potosa. You're watching True TV on demand. And I have another projection. I'm on in it's 818. And I just got my second Foley balloon. We took the other one out. And I was only four centimeters on the inside, but on the outside, two centimeters. So, they put another one in about five minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> so, now I'm just laying here, waiting to get up. I'm tired. They're gonna, they stopped the Pitocin. Now they're gonna start it again. With the new balloon. See how things progress. No. Let's just hope it hurry up and go because I'm tired. Mm. 
35, what's up, DJ? So it's 935 and my doctor just came in here and, and took the balloon out, which just slid out. So I'm four centimeters, sixty percent face, which is which means my cervix is thinning out and I want to monitor with the baby, so I have to stay here for like 30 minutes just to make sure he's good. And then, if I'm going to be the room, get me a birthing ball, so I get on it, start the Pitocin again. And then, she's going to break my water after. So, looks like we're moving. We're moving on up. <laughs> Man, I'm still tired. They gave me something to go to sleep last night, and now I'm... I think it's still in well it is, so I'm still tired. So I guess I'll keep you guys updated and see you guys nice. Excuse me here, but we here. And I'm a second one. Well we'll be delivering a baby. We're gonna just sit here. Wait for them to come back in. <coughs> They're gonna give me like a birthday ball. Things going. Make my water. Give me a little bit of pitocin. Inside my IV. I'm so tired still. We're trying to wake the baby up. This is the room. So guys, my man wife is gonna come in and rake my water and start the pitocin. But when she checked my cervix, she noticed that the, it didn't feel like it was earlier. So she went to do an ultrasound. And the baby was lying sideways. So basically, he moved from my pelvis and laid sideways. He was there the whole time, even while I was working out on the stand. But. So now I have to get a C-section. Sean over there. Uh, his name is Hurt. And it's 129 right now. <laughs> so we said between two and three. I'll be going in for surgery. Something that I really didn't want to happen, but it's happening. So here we go. I guess I'll update you guys later. Daddy getting ready. Call me Dr. Brown. <laughs> he only got a cap on though. Hmm? He only got a cap on. He about to put on his his um his his new footwear. Oh my gosh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Got one leg in. Look like you about to go inside. <clears throat> you used to really shit to go into like a, um, a mold infested room. Yeah, that's what you look like you about to do. I'm 
Okay. He, he almost got it in, guys. Don't worry. Oh, he got it in. I'm not trying to put you. got a zipper? Oh, that's good. Hurry, hurry up. Why you move so slow? You got help? Oh, got that on. Now you got to do a zip, zip, zip it up. I'll zip, zip it up. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, look, look how long he take to zip up. I have to go in.